For those who don't know, the Zeus Network, launched in July 2018, is a subscription-based video service. The network focuses on scripted and unscripted influencer-driven programming and has so far put out over 30 shows, both reality and scripted. It was founded by DeStorm Power, Amanda Cerny, King Bach, and Lemuel Plummer, who acts as president and CEO. Today, we are ranking the network's 10 best shows, so stay with us. At number 10, we have Casting One Mo Chance. Stay with us. Casting One Mo Chance gives us a behind-the-scenes look at the process in which show producer Jackie Long sits down with Chance's younger brother, known as Mike Mike, and comedian Michael Blackson. The guys help him choose the ladies who will ultimately vie for the attention of former Stallion Air member Kamal Chance Givens. As the women go out of their way to appear attractive, the guys go through them one by one, discussing their individual merits and what is basically a modern-day meat market. We see a ton of women show off their best attributes in an over-the-top show of trying to catch the judges' eyes. As popular as this show is, we cannot help viewing it as a bunch of people so desperate for fame that they are willing to go before cameras and be judged on their appearance. What did you make of this? Let us know in the comments section. The Real Black China is at 9. Born May 11, 1988, Angela Renee White, better known as Black China, is an American model and socialite. After performing as Nicki Minaj's body double in the video for the Kanye West hit Monster, she was also referenced in a song by Canadian artist Drake. The Real Black China is a docuseries chronicling the life and everyday struggles of the model. One of the recurring themes of the show is that the supporting cast, basically her entourage and inner circle, are gradually phased out of the show after falling out with her one by one. There's a common denominator here, can you see what it is? As obviously fake and superficial as the show is, it serves as compelling viewing as we find ourselves wanting to know what'll happen next. Have you seen The Real Black China? What do you think? At 8, we have one more chance, The Reunion. Stay tuned. Just in case the actual show and the casting of the show wasn't enough, the network, in true network fashion, decided to milk the cash cow that was Kamal Givens until it's completely dry. Can you tell what it's about? Yep, the guys get together for the first time in weeks to reunite, and emotions run high in this one. Previous jealous arguments and secret revelations come to the fore, which can only mean one thing, great TV. As much as we love this sort of TV for what it is, brash, egomaniacs advertising what not to be when you grow up, we cannot help feeling sorry for these people as they're living out their lives on TV and ultimately not coming across very well. Who is your favorite character on One Mo Chance? Let us know below. Joseline's Cabaret is at number 7. Former Love & Hip Hop Atlanta star Joseline Hernandez goes it alone in this reality show which premiered in January 2020. Joseline left the Love & Hip Hop franchise after a fallout with the show's producers. It had been revealed that she signed a deal with the Zeus Network in October 2019 and would go on to front the show which details the everyday struggles of Joseline as she attempts to launch a cabaret show in Miami. The show is set at the G5 Strip Club, where Joseline had herself previously worked as a stripper 10 years before the show aired. Giving us an in-depth view of the lives of strippers, the show also features many interviews with the ladies of the cast, which double as tell-all confessionals. We love this one as it actually features real people going through everyday struggles, not millionaires. Who is your favorite character on Joseline's Cabaret? Number 6, we have The Conversation, so stick around. The Conversation, would you believe, is exactly what it says on the 10. Featuring notable personalities from the influencer and celebrity world, this is true car crash TV, and we love it. No mediators are used, which means things tend to get pretty feisty. Conversations can quickly go from the sublime to the ridiculous, and it is pretty much a no-holds-barred sort of setup where anything goes. Usually featuring two guests per episode, the conversation usually focuses on a previous incident or shared experience. The Zeus Network captions the show best, saying, Join the conversation as camera crews capture raw, real, and explosive confrontations from notable personalities in the world of business, fame, and celebrity using unfiltered footage without the intervention of mediators. What's not to love? At five, we've got your my booey friend. Apart from the obvious spelling mistake, I'm joking. We know it's a play on the word boo. This one's great. Similar to Kamal Givens' One More Chance, the show sees social media starlet B. Simone, yep, you guessed it, looking for a boyfriend. There's something about shows of this nature which make it okay for men to be shepherded about in the hope of becoming famous, people don't really care about the glaring tragedy of the whole charade. We follow B as she picks her way through 12 potential Lotharios who are tasked with trying to win her heart by competing in odd competitions and then facing the dreaded Eliminator. B has the unenviable task of narrowing down a field of 12 egomaniacs, a task we are happy she is conducting and not us. We do love the show though, just not particularly the contestants. Baddies ATL comes in at 4. Stay tuned to find out more. Baddies ATL only premiered this spring but has proved to be 
super successful on the Zeus Network. Following some of the cast members from Oxygen's Bad Girls Club, the show serves as a follow-up to an episode from the number six show on our list, The Conversation, The Bad Girls of Reality TV. Set in Atlanta, it features Tanisha Thomas, Natalie Nunn, and Judy Jai, among others, and follows a similar setup as the original Bad Girls Club. Zeus CEO Lemuel Plummer said about the show, having similar components to it that the audience is familiar with. The show is very authentic. It's very raw. It's uncensored. It's real. What did you think of this one? Next in, at three, we have TD, Do You Love Me? This show features social media queen TD in search of her true love. In a similar vein to your my booey friend, TD's potential suitors have to compete in trials and again to face an elimination round. Or this one differs a little from the other is the diversity among the guys who are vying for the attention of TD. How did you compare this one to your my booey friend and the male version one mo chance? Like, we get it. Reality TV is a big hit and people love watching these guys, but can we not think of an original idea or do we have to keep going over the same bland idea for shows which has been done a million times before? What do you think about this? Time for something completely new, right? Just missing out on the top spot, we have Joseline's Cabaret, Atlanta. As the first season of Joseline and the gang proved to be so popular, she took her talents up the coast a little to Georgia, Atlanta to be precise. With the same premise, if it's not broken, don't fix it right, Joseline introduces us to a new group of girls that sets about trying to turn them into a professional cabaret troupe. Get set for another injection of passion, drama, and crazy with the new season. The girls of the new season consist of similar characters from the first, hustlers, porn stars, and exotic dancers. We wonder if there will be any crossover with the other Atlanta show on our list, Baddies ATL. What do you guys think? And at number one, it's Givens himself, One Mo Chance. One Mo Chance follows the story of Kamal Chance Givens, who is going through a rough patch in his life. The mother of his children has left him, and his brother and partner, Ahmad, has passed away from colon cancer, aged just 35. Givens is a rapper, not to be confused with Chicago rapper Chance the Rapper, and TV personality who has previously appeared on VH1's I Love New York in 2007. During the show, we see Chance give love another try, as he returns to reality TV in search of true love. We think the chance of him finding true love in this way is slim to none, pardon the pun, although it is fun viewing. One more Chance will be back for season two, which means Givens had no luck finding love in season one. Did you watch One Mo Chance? What did you think? As always, thanks for tuning in today, and remember to stop by next time. Feel free to share with any friends you think might appreciate this video too.